Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I am going to discuss about the C proxy authentication. So what is proxy authentication and why this proxy authentication is required and what are the C messages exchanged? Uh, I will discuss this in details. So in proxy authentication, what are the C headers exchanged between the uh, client and the server? This I will give you details today. So friends, uh, here I have uploaded few more videos related to uh, C-Web and RTP. I recommend you to check all these videos first before starting these videos. This will give a clear idea, understanding of how C works. So let's start today's topic. Uh, so proxy authentication basically used in uh, IP to IP calling. So it might be SPC from your SPC to your provider uh, when you want to make an outbound call the provider can give you a proxy authentication challenge so how to uh, how how to reply to that proxy authentication challenge uh, from an svc this i am going to discuss today so basically uh, here also you can see that your svc ships proxy server is here so the SIP clients can also be challenged with proxy authentication but this basically the web and soft phones that we use most of them are registered with the server so they are calling based on the registration but when this uh, user agent is not registered and able to make IP to IP call these cases also uh, SIP proxy can provide a proxy authentication challenge uh, to the SIP client but mostly this is used uh, between your SBC and the provider because SBC to provider it's always IP to IP calling most uh, when it's IP to IP calling there are multiple ways of calling are possible like IP to IP calling registration based calling proxy authentication based calling so uh, there are multiple possible but I am going to discuss about the proxy authentication today I have discussed it in another video I recommend you to check those videos so here <clears throat> what is the flow of proxy authentication so when your proxy server uh, uh, wants to make an outbound call through a proxy uh, through your provider or any other third-party proxies so this proxy uh, uh, these and these two nodes, uh, these might not be registered SIP trunk. This can be an IP based SIP trunk. So, this case it will send an invite to the uh, SIP proxy provider. So, it will respond with 407 proxy authentication challenge. Then, it will send back an egg. Then, it has to send the invite with the uh, authentic authorization header so what is this authorization header basically when you create a ship trunk when any third party provider or any uh, i mean any telecom provider or any third party provider provides a ship trunk uh, to your spc so uh, they provide some username and password so while you want to make an outbound call through this proxy you have to uh, authenticate your call so this kind of authentication is done with 407 proxy authentication so uh, this i am going to discuss you know that you can understand the flow here you send an invite proxy will respond back with 407 proxy authentication challenge then you have to send uh, then the SBC will send an acknowledge then it will uh, send an uh, invite with the authentication header so rest of the flows are like uh, after that is uh, once the proxy authentication is successful the rest of the flow is uh, normal SIP call flow only so this is the difference so i am going to discuss this uh, with a wireshark example so here is an example uh, so <clears throat> here a party sends an invite to b party so b party sends under trying then it sends a authentication challenge 407 proxy authentication challenge so in this authentication challenge uh, it sends a proxy authentication header where it sends a uh, digest realm 
so these are the parameters realm nonce and the QoP auth so this is an authentication challenge uh, which client receives from the server so here it sends a realm this realm is uh, based on the server it can be uh, it can be any unique name or it can be the server uh, ip itself or the client ip it depends on the server what it will set in realm then the nonce is an unique value unique value for that specific transaction and qp is the auth uh, so once uh, once client receive this proxy authentication challenge it sends back an egg to the server then it creates uh, creates an authentication header so this authentication header is uh, it, it has username then uh, it sends the realm as it is what it receives in its uh, this requ uh, request it response is same then the nonce is also same what it received in the initial request then it sends the uri so whatever uri it sends in initial invite it just copies that uri here then qop is auth then it's <coughs> it adds in nc and uh, c nonce these values are unique uh, then response uh, this response is a calculated value so how this response is calculated is based on the username password and the, it's a it has a formula i will provide another video on this so basically uh, this username and password is used as a salt because here algorithm is used as md5 so this md5 algorithm is used to uh, calculate this response uh, value so it's based on this nonce uri then uh, username there is a combination of formula and password is used as a salt here so this is how it uh, how this response is calculated and sent to the uh, with this invite it adds this authentication header and this authentication header is sends to the b party server so there is this authentication challenge gets uh, uh, created and server check this response uh, server also calculates based on its values server also calculates this response value if this response value matches then server allows the invite uh, to go out e else it rejects the invite so after that the flow is normal uh, after that it dials the desired extension then it gets the trying ringing and it uh, call establishes so this is the way the proxy authentication works so this how to calculate this response i will be providing another video on this so this is how friends this proxy authentication works so this is the complete flow once the authentication is successful then the proxy server uh, dials the desired extension and after that the flow is same so so as an user agent uh, you will just dial to server but server will take care of the proxy authentication challenge but if the proxy authentication challenge is thrown here then uh, this endpoint needs to know the uh, username and password then it has to uh, create the invite basically this is followed here so server takes care of this proxy authentication challenge because the configuration is at server level so uh, server can set the username and password and if it is a ship trunk between server and the proxy server then uh, server uh, sends this invite to the proxy server then proxy server if uh, the invite is successful uh, header is successfully uh, authenticated then it sends the uh, invite to the b party and call connects end to end so friends this is how the proxy authentication works uh, so here uh, if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like share this video as well so if you subscribe and I will upload upload new video, you will get a notification here. So friends, thank thank you, thanks for watching my video. So I have uploaded few more videos here, like uh, 
other videos like SIP traffic testing tools, then SMPP and SMS related tools or RTC related videos. If you are interested, you can check these videos as well. Thank you, friends.